Hello, Harper Princess. Princess Harper, I said that backwards. Are you a princess? Yes. Yes. So I have a question for you. Because I ask you this every year because I've literally been asking you this since you were two years old. And you've always had such amazing answers. And you're how old now? Six. Okay. Which was four years ago. When I know. <gasps> that is so good math. You're way good at math. So, question. And think. What is it like when, you know, like, when I'm around you, you know how you have, like, all your other aunts and uncles and stuff and, like, everything? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you notice different about me when I'm around you? And you, it's okay if there is. You that can, you can't see. Yeah? What do you think about that? That it is. Do you think that it's interesting? Yeah. What do you think that's it? interesting about it um because when you open your eyes it looks like you can see but you can't yeah we'll see because i try to open my eye but my muscles are too weak so they won't stay opened i can actually see you a little bit but if i let go it doesn't really stay open i can see a little bit but not much at all you know what i mean like i can see like mm, like i can, can see, see this hand no, like I cannot see any detail at all. Um, so you can't see my butterfly on my dress? No, but I can tell that you're sitting there and you have something bright, sparkly on. Sparkly? Or, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, like it looks that right. way it's, to me. Yeah, it's a bright flame. Yeah. Um, and sparkly earrings. So, what, do you know, like, does it ever bother you that I'm blind? No? You think it's cool? Do you? I think it's weird that I, that there's only one person that's blind in my family, but we have like a thousand people. Actually, actually, you know Jess? Mm -mm. Jess Reynolds? Jessie? Mm -hmm. Who I call twin? Jess Michelle Reynolds? I know. I'll show you a picture of her on Facebook when we get off here. She actually is my cousin. She's your cousin, too. She's blind in one of her eyes. She wears glasses. So does Gigi. You know B.R. Bob Reynolds? Mm -hmm. That's her daughter. She's blind in one of her eyes, and she has a prosthetic eye, which means it's not a real eye. She was born without one eye. So well, she's blind in one eye. Yeah, well, um, so is my Gigi. She, she has to have a wheelchair, too. So she... Uh-huh. Anyway. Well, I well it was better with Kings to go down the um stairs, so they moved to a new house where there wasn't any. Aww. Stairs, unless to get downstairs. Did you know and that I, I have a wheelchair too? Yeah, I saw yeah. it in the room. Did you do you like? There. Do you like it? It's cool. Yeah. What do you like about it? I like that it looks like Gigi's because Gigi has like the little. But I don't know what's different, but Gigi has a, like a pouch, pouch in there, and she can open it up, and she can put like her jacket or like, mm -hmm. money or something that she gets, and she can close it. And then she sits there, and then she can walk around with it. Aww. What do you like about my wheelchair? I like that it's the same color as Gigi's. What color is that? Black. I think I have some pink on mine, too. Yeah, she has some pink on her shirt. Really? Mine was actually custom made. I don't know if hers was. Yeah, I'm not because, sure. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't only really gone to her own house. Do you know why? When I first came to the inspection of the house, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why I use a wheelchair and crutches and a walker? No. Can you say cerebral palsy? So you say CP? It's short for CP. So basically, I just get tired easily from long distances and stuff. And sometimes, like, I'll lose my balance and stuff. Or sometimes I just get really stiff and really tired. You know what I mean? You know how, like, when you're little and you're in a stroller because you get tired? Mm -hmm. Well, that's basically my whole life. Because usually, um, actually when I'm sick, tired sometimes usually because I really, um, it get tired. Like yeah, I yeah. get tired. My legs hurt. Yeah. And my... Do you know, have you seen my, do you know why I use a white cane? No. So, 
do you know that blind people, like my cane is like my eyes. So when I go, I don't take my cane everywhere because depending on where we go, depends on if I take my crutches or the stroller or the wheelchair or whatever. Um, but I do take my cane sometimes. Um, cause I, I like my cane, you know, I just have to take different things to different places. But for blind people, the cane is like your eyes. So do you think that, um, but the cane doesn't look like your eyes. No, that's a good point. You know why the cane doesn't look like my eyes, but like blind people, when you use a cane, you, um, like it picks up like, so if I had my cane, it would tell me this was here if I didn't know. So I would use my cane and it would bump into this bike. So then I would know the bike was there. Or if I'm walking down the hallway at school and I didn't know a friend was there, my cane might tap them on the foot, but that's not me hitting them. That's just me knowing that they're there. Um, so basically, uh, so ba it looks like you're hitting them because your cane is basically your eye, which is basically bumping them with your eye. Yeah, and did you know that also my hands are my eyes? Yes, because you can feel things, and it makes you like like you're seeing it. Yeah. That's so true. Do you know that my ears are my eyes? Yes, because you can hear stuff, and it's basically your seeing it. <gasps> that is so true. It's so, just the same thing, but it's a different part of your body. Yeah, that's so true. Um, what about the song "Jesus Loves Me"? That's an old song, but it's a good song. Okay, what song should we sing together? Well, we have to sing a different song if we're doing the singing competition. Okay. But do you want me I, to go first or do you want to go first? Well, we have to have a judge, and I, Mimi said she would be the judge, so we have to. Well, how about we do this, and then we show it to her tomorrow, and she tells us who it is, because she's asleep already. And then while we're sitting at, down at Krispy Kreme, we can ask her to say who is better. And I have a feeling... Well, she won't even hear us. Yes, she will, because this will be on video. I'll show it to her. No, let's just do, let's just, yeah, but she said she would come up after I all had my stuff away and then you would do the singing contest and you said you would do it up here. Yeah, we can. I so didn't know that she was, now? I didn't know that she was the judge. Yeah, so she'll be the judge. Can we, can we practice and then I will go get her? Well, we will could, do... Yeah, I already know my song. Okay, I'll... practice your song really quick and then I'll practice no, mine I, really quick. I don't really know. I... It's okay, you don't have to, you don't have to know it all. Just do like a tiny bit and then I'll do a tiny bit of mine then I'll go get her. Oh, well, I already know mine, so I don't even need to practice at all. Because I've seen the song before. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, okay, so before people, we... Whenever I... Whenever hey, look at the camera, because we're about to get... We're about, I'm about to go get her, Mimi. Go look at the camera. Whenever I listen um, uh -huh. to the song, like whenever I sing the song, everybody stares at me like I'm Cuckoo Banana Bread. Right? Well, they're Cuckoo Banana. I got one more question for you, and then I'll go get Mimi. What? Do you love Jesus? What does Jesus do for us? He gives us a world we can live in. <gasps> That's so true. Like, like a, like, do you know that, like, he loves us very much? Yes. And, and what did he do? What did he die on the? He died on the cross for us. For us, yeah. What, do you know why he did that? So that we could have eternal life if we love Jesus. And so that we could have life. Yeah. And we love Jesus. You want to blow a kiss by? <laughs> All right. I'll go get Mimi.